Terry, um, a lot of people describe this road, Minchin Road, as probably the worst road in Harlow for Potholes. Would you agree? Yes, 100%. Um, I myself have suffered a lot of damage on my vehicles. Um, I've suffered recently track rod ends and a broken road spring. Uh, in speaking with the residents, several have lost uh, suspension components, one lost an under tray, and even just last week I pulled a bumper out of the bush over there that had been ripped off by the ramp. Um, so yeah, I would agree with that. And, and what, clearly you're not backward in coming forward, but what has been done to try and get this road repaired? Because um, it's been years, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been quite a few years. I mean, about five, six years ago, they come around and patched it in various places. Um, hence the patching now has failed and uh, the road is being ripped up due to the increase in traffic from buses which are huge um, they're rear fan assisted um, as they go by there's plumes of dust coming over um, so yeah there's a, there's an awful lot of heavy vehicles trundling up here uh, 24-7 that are adding and contributing to the roads being ripped and torn apart but when you're saying dust I think you're indicating that that could be quite dangerous Yes, uh, in pulling the safety data sheets for asphalt, which is generally what this is, asphalt, um, it contains what they call a, a silica ingredient. And the silica ingredient is cancer forming. Um, and it is advisable on all fronts, even in the UK and America alike, that silica is treated with utmost respect and any cutting or milling of, of asphalt should be done under wet conditions. As you can see today, it's dry and it's very dusty. Hence, it's all over the vehicles, it's stuck on the cars and the windows, and the maintenance and, uh, and increased cost to residents is phenomenal. There is orange markings around some of the potholes just outside your house. <laughs> is, isn't that good news? Um, it is and it isn't. Um, what I returned from the post office this morning, and there was a highways official there marking up a few little areas, and I did challenge the guy and said, good morning, and uh, what's happening? And he said, oh, we're only going to patch this top end. He said, there's half a dozen holes here, we're going to patch them. I said, well, what about the remainder of the road? Because the remainder of the road is most important. And he said, no, nah, that's, that's all down to council. So um, I'm just a little bit worried now that he's going to patch a couple of little bits and we're going to be back again in six months' time, you know. Be because it's just papering over the yeah, cracks. It's not proper repairs. It needs to be taken back to concrete, put the residue down there, and then tarmac it correctly. You know, job done. So if they're, I know it's, a, it's not the responsibility of Harlow District Council, which the Labour Council are keen to tell us, Yeah. but if... if <laughs> See, it becomes political, yes. Michael. But it, they it, might get Conservative councillors, because yeah, they know there's an election in May I mean, the 6th, standing here saying it's a, it's a, it's a success story. Yeah, if, if you look into it a lot deeper, it, it does show up the cobwebs. Um, people shout out, oh, it's Harlow Council, this, that, and the other. Wrong. Stop. Don't even think that. Um, I've been now fighting this for several years, just last June... Um, I wrote several letters to the CEO of Essex County Council, Mr. Gavin Jones, um, and highways officials and environmental health and safety. Um, I've got these on record, and they come back and said, no, the road has been inspected, it's not suitable for repair, there's worse roads than that around. Well, I challenge anyone to come down here and, and tell me that this road is not in dire need of, of repair. On the damage for the vehicles, and equally the health and safety of the residents and people that use the road alike. So, I don't think it's Harlow Council. Harlow Council are a body that control areas, Harlow, and amenities and facilities, but the monies get transferred to Chelmsford Council, and Chelmsford Council, Council then control the highways and everything. All these roads are Chelmsford, and Chelmsford is a Conservative-run borough. Harlow is a Labour-controlled uh, borough, and it really is, as they call, blowing in the wind. It, it's you're just fighting and barking up a tree and they just need to bang their heads together come together and say look that road is really in a sorry state we've got to get this done because it's going to cause absolute mayhem what will happen eventually is i will advise all these residents to group all their expenses together for window cleaners increased car costs and maintenance as a direct result of the damage on this road and we will submit that through the council and ask them to put the bill we don't really want to go through that, but they must react to what the residents are saying. It's not every day you get the residents together saying help, but they're doing it now. We need help to get this sorted. This is just wrong on all fronts.